Professor Mann was damning, but amazingly she isn't the first scientist in Minnesota to uncover the problems with diets. Over 60 years ago, before the modern diet industry had even begun, scientists here were already examining the effect of cutting calories on the body. In 1944, an experiment took place here at the football stadium at the University of Minnesota. 36 men volunteered to live on a diet of just 1,500 calories a day for six months. It was done to find out what happens to the human body when it's starved. The experiment was run by the world's leading nutritionist, Ansel Keys. The American government wanted to understand the effect malnutrition would have on war-torn Europe. The men were housed in windowless rooms beneath the stadium. They were given a program of mental and physical exercises and monitored throughout. Their diet of just over 1,500 calories was strictly controlled. Being starved made them lose weight, but it also had profound psychological effects on them. This is an extract from one of the volunteers' diaries. April 24th, 1945. I'm beginning to want to isolate myself from the other subjects. We're developing all kinds of weird behaviors. Everyone seems to be losing their interpersonal skills, and the starvation is less than half over. One of them bit one of the other volunteers. Many tried to escape from the compound to eat grass from nearby gardens. Another became so deranged, he chopped three of his fingers off with an ax. I mean, this is what a diet based on half of a normal calorie intake did to these people in less than six months. But Key's most important discovery for the diet industry was what happened after the diet ended. When Key started feeding them again after six months, he noticed something totally unexpected. They rapidly put on weight, but not only did that, they actually gained more weight than they had been originally. Dieting had actually made them fatter. What would you say the significance of the Keys study was in terms of what we know about diets today? Basically, I think of it as the first diet study. I mean, the more I look at his books, the more I'm amazed at how much he figured out about how diets work back then. He showed that trying to lose weight long-term by dieting wouldn't work for the vast majority of people. 